So how can we use what we learned from this video to uh, flip peer pressure in situations when negative peer pressure is really causing a problem? Like how do we turn negative peer pressure into positive peer pressure? Well, the video is a great example, right? So in this, some crazy guy dancing, he looks like a fool, everyone's kind of laughing at him, but then he gets his first follower, and then from there it goes to the point where everybody's dancing and then people feel embarrassed, right? Peer pressure makes them then join the group and dance like fools as opposed to the other way around. So it all starts though with the first follower. So if you're on your own, right, in a crowd, or in a group of people and you're feeling peer pressure on you and you don't want to respond to it, the key is to find that first person in the crowd to be your first follower. There's always going to be someone, if there's a group of people, that feels uncomfortable like you do and is probably not saying anything about it. So you've got to find them. So in this case, I'm looking at this crowd and it looks like, ooh, this person's trying to get out of there. They're not very comfortable. Okay, I'm going to talk to them and be like, hey, like this doesn't feel right, you know, what, what do you think about that? Or, hey, I don't really want to stick around, how about you? And then suddenly you got that first follower, that gives you power. You're no longer all alone, right? Now you've got someone else to help you out. And once you have that, that makes you so much stronger in the face of peer pressure and things like that. When you're just the one lonely person, if you're this person feeling uncomfortable, right, it's a lot harder to stand up against everybody versus when you have that first friend. So find out somebody, ask around, be like, hey, I don't feel so good about this, or hey, I want to take off, what about you? Get that first follower, that's your first step.